Hey, thanks for joining me for today's video. I'm Rich Chapo with DMCAAgentService.com. And I just want you to know that this is the 10th version of this video that we have shot. Uh, DMCA immunity. Is it total immunity? That's the subject we're looking at today. And for some reason, I have an incredible difficulty of saying DMCA immunity over and over and over. I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> but here we go for the 10th time. Uh, so what are we talking about with immunity in this situation? Uh, well, Section 512C of the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, a.k.a. the DMCA, um, provides immunity to website and app owners uh, for copyright infringement complaints uh, based on content uploaded by users. So that's a bit of a mouthful. Let's look at an example. Uh, let's say Facebook. Let's say I have a personal Facebook page and I go out and I, I don't know, I copy a image off of uh, the Cirque du Soleil site of acrobats doing something, you know, incredibly fascinating. And then I post it to my Facebook page. Well, that's probably copyright infringement. I don't have permission to copy and republish that image. Um, and then, you know, so in that situation, I, I can be held liable for copyright infringement. I'm the one that did it. But can Facebook? And the answer is no. Under Section 512C, uh, the DMCA immunity uh, is going to let them escape liability. Uh, they're not going to have to pay any kind of monetary damages for that. And the reasoning behind that, if you think about it, is, you know, imagine you have your app or your site, you know, whatever it is that you own, and you allow users to post something, even if it's in the comment section. Um, well, how do you know if that's something that they actually created, uh, you know, that it's their own and they own the copyright to, or if it's something somebody else created? Uh, and they ju they just you know copied it and posted it, and you know sometimes it's obvious, but a lot of times it's difficult to know. Uh, and so under U.S. law, they create this safe harbor, uh, this this buffer, if you will, uh, for companies online, um, so they're not faced with you know endless uh, copyright infringement lawsuits. Now, is the DMCA immunity uh, complete? Is it total? Are you immune from every possible legal claim? And the answer might be a surprise: no. There are two situations that arise uh, where you can lose the immunity. Well, actually three, but two that we'll focus on. Um, the DMCA immunity only applies to copyright infringement claims based on user-generated content where the claims are for monetary damages. So they're suing you uh, and they want you to write a check. Now, there are other types of legal claims, uh, often known as injunctive claims. Uh, and in that situation, the DMCA immunity does not apply. Now, realistically, you probably really don't care because the person who is suing or the company who is suing, they're not asking for money from you. They're just asking for the court to order you to take some particular action. So let's look at an example so you understand how this works. A few years ago, uh, we had a situation where uh, celebrities ran into a big problem. And so there were a number of celebrities, particularly actresses, attractive actresses, Jennifer Lawrence, this group. Uh, well, because of their schedule, uh, they are often away from their significant others. And couples being what couples are, they would take photos and shoot videos of an intimate nature, let's put it that way, <laughs> and send them to their significant others. You know, a very private moment, let's put it that way. Uh, and unfortunately, somebody got into a phone or they hacked the iPhone cloud or the Apple cloud. I don't, I don't know what happened, but uh, suddenly people had images of many, many different celebrities in very many, many different intimate poses and moments. And they started sharing those all over the place on Facebook, on Twitter, on a site called 4chan, on you know all these different spots. Well, while I'm sure the celebrities wanted to sue people for money at that point, their real goal was to get the stuff taken down as soon as possible. You know, you don't really don't care about money at that point. You just want the damn things down. Uh, and so their attorneys could go into court and ask the court to issue an order against Facebook uh, or Twitter, whoever, saying, you know, hey, this is uh, a violation of copyright law. Because remember, those people, when you shoot selfies like that, even if they're intimate, you're usually the person shooting them. And when you create a photograph or a video, well, you're automatically vested with the copyright in it. And so they could make a copyright infringement claim. Now, they're not really worried about monetary damages there. Again, they just want to get the things taken down. And so they could say to the court under the DMCA, uh, you know, we, we have served DMCA takedown notices on these sites. We want you to enforce them. We want you to order a massive DMCA takedown for all these different platforms. And the court would probably do it, to be honest, given the nature of you know, the content. Um, and in that situation, the DMCA immunity would not apply. Uh, so Facebook and these sites would not be able to escape those court orders. Now, again, realistically, do they care? No. 
Um, you know, they're not being sued for monetary damages. And I think most platforms would be sensitive to, you know, somebody having their intimate images stolen. That's obviously not a great day. Uh, and while we all may snicker at celebrities, I mean, keep in mind, if it was you, you probably wouldn't be slightly embarrassed and humiliated. So uh, that's how that would arise. Now, there's a second caveat as well to the immunity, second area where it doesn't apply. And that deals with who is posting um, the offending material. Now, the DMCA immunity only applies when it is an independent user who is posting content. So let's say you start a forum on model trains and one of your members goes out and they take a picture of the most impressive model train ever owned by some Saudi prince made out of diamonds. You know, it poops emeralds as it uh, has as smoke as it goes across the track, you know, whatever it may be. And they post that image to your site. Uh, to your forum. Okay, well, in that situation, they're an independent user of your forum, so the DMCA would apply. If the sheik or whoever took the photo originally complains, they would submit a DMCA takedown process. Uh, notice you would be immune. Your forum would be immune. Now, they could go after the user, but you would be immune. Now, change that situation. Let's say you're the one that goes out and you know sees that image of that, that uh, train. You think it's funny. You copy it and you post it to your forum. The DMCA immunity is not going to protect you because you're not an independent uh, person in that, that posting activity. You own the forum. It, it's The forum itself is posting it. Uh, and in that situation, the immunity is not going to apply. So just remember a very simple rule. If you post uh, content to your own platform, the DMCA immunity does not apply. If somebody else posts it, it applies. It's that simple. Okay, now there's a third, I mentioned the third caveat that's not up on the screen, and that is the DMCA immunity only applies if you comply with the DMCA. There's a compliance process you need to follow. It's not difficult, not hard at all. You can go to our site, dmcaagentservice.com. Uh, you can see it there. Basically, the idea is you have to designate a DMCA agent. Uh, if you need one, you can use us. It's dmcaagentservice.com. We charge 70 bucks a year. Um, you know, it's really basic. And then there's a certain little timeline and notice process you have to follow. You do it once, you'll laugh at how easy it is. Uh, but you follow all of that and you're going to have that immunity. Now, does the DMCA immunity, is it total? No, but it applies in about 99% of cases. Um, I, I can't even think of any actual injunctions that were, were filed. Even in the celebrity cases, I don't think they filed injunctions. I think that the forums and the platforms were just uh, you know, very responsive to the complaints and immediately took down the content. Um, so most of these situations are probably not going to apply to you. So really the only ones you have to worry about is who is posting the content. If you're posting it, DMCA immunity does not apply. If it's one of your users, then it does. And there you go. So anyways, that's it for today's video. If you have questions or comments, post them below. I'll be happy to answer them. Uh, otherwise, thanks for watching. Have yourself a good one.